Hello, welcome to the Chocolate Academy Online. Today we will continue looking at a true classic, the chocolate Easter egg. In this level two video, we are going to make a more complex egg with slightly more challenging techniques. I'll show you every step of the process, and with that, you'll be able to expand your abilities to be creative. So with that, let's get cracking. For the ingredients we will use, as needed, Calabot 2815 Belgian dark chocolate, as needed, Calabot 2665 Belgian milk chocolate. For the tools we will use, Let's begin preparing the molds. Using a soft cloth, polish the molds to remove any dust or traces of chocolate from any previous use. Slightly preheat the mold using a heat gun to avoid a thermic shock, which will affect the gloss and contraction of the chocolate. Fill the molds completely with tempered milk chocolate using the automatic tempering machine. If you don't have access to the machine, you can also complete this step in the same manner using tempered chocolate in a melting kettle. I chose to use Calabot 2665 milk chocolate, but you could use a variety of other Calabot chocolates that are suitable for molding. For more information on which chocolate to use, watch the videos related to the subject or check out the Chocolizer app. Place the mold on the vibrating table to remove all air bubbles. Clean the mold well using the scraper. Leave the molds to set for three to five minutes. Then place the mold upside down on the vibrating table to create the shell. Clean the mold well again using the scraper. Finally, place the mold upside down on a tray lined with parchment paper. We do this so the mold is coated in a uniform layer of chocolate and that any excess chocolate flows to the bottom of the mold to create a thicker lip that will facilitate the gluing of the two halves of the egg. When the chocolate has set sufficiently, turn the mold right side up and using a scraper, remove the excess chocolate. Let the chocolate in the mold set until no longer shiny. Cast the mold again to create a double thickness. It is important to do so as soon as the first layer has set to make sure that the second layer will adhere well to the first layer. To create a double thickness, repeat the same procedure as the initial casting. Keep in mind that the bigger the egg mold is, the more layers you may need. Put in the refrigerator just until the chocolate has retracted and you can easily remove the egg from the mold. This should not take more than 20 minutes. If you leave your molds in the refrigerator for too long, you run the risk of a buildup of condensation on the chocolate. In the meantime, cast the molds that will be used as the base for your eggs. Pour pre-crystallized milk chocolate onto the six tablet mold. Put the mold on the vibration table to remove all the air bubbles and then clean the mold well with the scraper. Place the mold in the refrigerator until solid enough to be unmolded, just the same as with the egg mold. Let's now return to the egg molds. First, using a heat gun, slightly heat one half of the egg still in the mold. Then remove the other half from the mold and place it upside down on the hot plate to barely melt the chocolate. Remove the excess chocolate from the shell on parchment paper. Then place the unmolded half on top of the heated half still in the mold. We do this to ensure that the two halves of the egg will join together and are perfectly aligned. I also do this because the egg is quite large and can be difficult to handle otherwise. If you do not own a hot plate, I would recommend to place a piece of marble into the oven to warm it and use it as a hot plate. It will give you the same result. Allow at least one hour for the egg to fully set before removing it from the mold. Then using a wire brush, scratch the entire surface of the egg. I always start at the top of the egg and scrape towards the bottom. This is important to ensure that the top of the egg looks the best. Place your egg back onto the silicone mold. Cover the table with plastic film and pour some pre-crystallized dark chocolate onto it. Set the bottom of the egg into the pre-crystallized dark chocolate. Then wrap the egg in the plastic film and use your hand to push the pre-crystallized dark chocolate up around the egg.
Place it into a recipient to ensure that the egg does not move. Place the egg into the refrigerator for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, carefully remove the plastic film from the egg and make sure to preserve the scratch texture at the top of the egg. Remove from the refrigerator and start unmolding by slightly flexing the molds. Flip it over and carefully lift the mold. Then heat a palette knife with a heat gun and use it to melt the center of the tablet we cast earlier. Then pipe some pre-crystallized dark chocolate onto the tablet using a paper cone. Finally, melt the bottom of your egg on the hot plate or marble piece and carefully place it on the tablet. Allow the two to fully crystallize together. Today we've learned how to properly polish and cast our molds using tempered milk chocolate, how to glue the molds together, and how to finish the eggs using a wire brush as well as some tempered dark chocolate. Lastly, we learned how to make a simple yet attractive base for our eggs. I hope you've enjoyed this level 2 video on chocolate Easter eggs. There's lots more to learn, so be sure to check out our other videos for more Easter egg ideas. If you have specific topics that you'd like to see here on the Chocolate Academy online, be sure to share your thoughts with us. Until next time!